everyone. It is six o'clock. It is Friday night, and that means it's time for dragons and stuff. Woo! Wow. <laughs> wow. Woo! There, there is at least one person really excited. <laughs> the person who does the least work. I just have too much caffeine tonight. Oh my gosh. Uh, I am James Rodehaver. I am going to be running a game of Pathfinder for a bunch of my friends who we'll get to. And they're not as important as me, so let's okay. stick with me for a minute. Yeah. Because we'll, we'll get to them in a minute. First thing I want to do is welcome all the new viewers. Yeah. I know that there's a lot of new faces out there. Woo! Thanks for checking us out. Uh, if you are on Twitch, we love that you're watching us. That's awesome. If you want to chat with us, you should hop over to our Facebook.com slash Dragons and Stuff page. Woo! So watch us there because then you'll be able to chat with us. And, of course, we'll, you'll be able to enter our contest, which I'll get into the details in a little bit later. Bubble. But if you want to stay on Twitch, that's fine. Just know that we can't talk to you. So, but have fun watching us anyway. We're, we appreciate it. We like you. Um, about that contest. First of all, uh, if you are new, hopefully you have liked this episode already. You have liked our page already. You are following our page. That's super important. That's going to let you know every time we post something during the week or any time we go live, you're going to get a notification for that. So please follow us. Woo! Uh, and most importantly, if you like this show and you want to win awesome things, we need you to share this show. If you share this episode, not only does that increase the number of awesome people who can come and, and see us and watch us, but it gives you a chance to win some awesome prizes thanks to our sponsors. Uh, all you have to do to be eligible for that is share this show with the hashtag dragons and stuff. You do that within the next two hours or so, you're automatically entered to win the prizes. What are the prizes? Well, we have quite a few because we have quite a few awesome people sponsoring us this week. Woo! Is Limitless Adventures. These guys create awesome uh, extra dungeon content for you, and they create PDFs that you can go and, and download. Uh, they have offered us something this week to give out to you guys. Uh, it is the Limitless Adventures Pirate Encounters Pack. Pirate? So, uh, I want that. That's, that's the first major pass. Uh, that fits actually perfectly with our other sponsor, Paizo, makers of Pathfinder. They have given us the bigger ship flip mat. Wow. So you can use your pirate encounters on the Pathfinder pirate ship flip mat. Uh, it's actually got two different sides to it. Oh, you can have a whole like navy uh, already pre-drawn and mapped out for you for your awesome game that you're running. And of course, you're gonna wanna populate that ship with all kinds of nasty bad guys to uh, harass your players with. So we've got not one, but two of the Pathfinder Battles miniatures boxes. Oh. Uh, it is an assortment of random miniatures, pre-painted, shipped right to you. Uh, if you do get one, we've given out several <laughs> of these in the past. Right you. If you get one of these, <laughs> let us know what you, because we don't know what's in these. You have to tell us. I want to know what you guys. To what, know. I want to know what miniatures you guys are getting. So please, if you if you oh, win take this, a let us know. Take a picture of it. Take a picture yeah. of you using the monsters on your <coughs> on your flip mat uh, and send it to us, and we'll mm. throw it up on our tabletop Tuesday post. Dress send it to uh, us. Send it to us, please. We we we're begging you. Don't and just course, take the photo. <laughs> and of course, we are uh, giving away one of the Pathfinder uh, battle cap keychains um, all you got to do again share this episode with the hashtag dragons and stuff on Facebook and boom you are automatically boom. entered to win those awesome prizes and make sure it's public oh and it has to be a public share they always want me to tell you that Ben's really concerned <laughs> he wants you to know that you're public it has to be a public <laughs> share because if you share it on it privately how can we know that you've done this Woo! We never know. Right, and then guys. and then so shall can't you know he his powers are very limited so shall doesn't oh, know uh -oh. into oh. your <laughs> he can't see your oh. private shares so make sure it's a public share to kill Jim um, Jam, so shall. of course there's actually regardless of whether you win the the prize bundle we got for you i think you should go over to limitless-adventures.com slash dragons because there's a prize for everyone they have a free little adventure encounter pack that you can download. Uh, Woo! It's free. It's wow. awesome. Why would you not go? Uh, check out uh, what they've got to offer. It's a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, again, uh, our other sponsor for tonight, um, Paizo. Thanks so much for providing all those awesome prizes for, for our peoples. And of course, there's Sirenscape. They have some prizes for you too, but that's in our second half. 
Yeah, so we'll get to them later, but they are sponsoring our show, and we want to give a shout out to them because they're awesome. They're providing all of the ambiance, the music, and the sounds yeah. that you're hearing in the episode. So thank you. It sounds to, so wonderful right uh, now. It's wonderful, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you to, uh, again, to Limitless, Limitless Adventures, Paizo, and Sirenscape. Uh, I think now that we've gotten all that done. Are we ready? ready? Woo! We are ready to recap what happened last wow. week check and dive right sound. into tonight's adventure. Did they check you for that sound? <laughs> <laughs> so, everyone, when last we met, the party discovered that their enemies were more numerous and varied than they could have anticipated. What was supposed to be a quiet breakfast turned into a bloodbath <laughs> when a group of well-armed warriors assaulted them in their temporary home, the Mouse and Moth. Um, Jim Jam, they weren't warriors, they were towel boys. Yes, towel boys. Vicious towel boys. <laughs> the party was caught unawares and divided by the home front ambush. And even you, Crag, found yourself in dire straits as the battle raged on. With the help of the brave and skilled guardsman, Jonathan, you were able to survive the battle and crush your mysterious enemies. <laughs> One Wait, of them. I'm sorry, did you say brave and skilled swordsman, Jonathan? <laughs> well, of course. He you saved, saved your life, Wiggly. He is the worst person <laughs> that we know. Well, uh, maybe. Uh, that, that, for later. We'll, we'll, we'll save it for later. later. Uh, one of the, these, these mysterious warriors attempted to escape, but Squire Quigley would have none of that. Uh, you chased that particular villain on foot through the streets until he turned and fought you one on one. His skill was considerable, and you found yourself sorely outmatched, and came a hair's breadth from death. Your foe escaped, and your life was just barely saved by one of the townspeople who carried your mangled body to your friends. <laughs> As usual, Marcus's sleep spell left you all with a prisoner to interrogate in the aftermath of this <laughs> You are welcome. Uh, you discovered little of use, except that your in initial suspicions that this was the Red Mask mercenaries who had broken the truce uh, and attacked you in your home were unfounded. This attack was carried out by a previously unknown group of religious fanatics uh, to a supposedly dead goddess, Lunai, who has been mentioned many times in the prophecy uh, that has cropped up in your lives of late. Marcus spoke with Mortifor about these recent developments, and it was suggested that perhaps following up with Lyra's vision was the best course of action to get further answers as to how the prophecy of woe might unfold. Now you are all at the Mouse and Moth, exhausted and hungry as you have still not had any breakfast. No! Will you try I to have... track down the location from Lyra's vision or seek information about the warriors of Lunai? Or, as Marcus continues to suggest, just drop everything and bounce. <laughs> oh. No. What do you do? Well, Jim, we I'm glad you food. asked that question because what we do prior to telling you what we do is read a few quotes here Reintroduce oh, ourselves right, yeah. to some yes. of the yes. some of the new people that are tuning in. I've got Brock Parker says it's his first time here. Looking Yay. forward to it. Thank you, Brock. I believe Hi. there was also another person who mentioned they were here uh, watching because of Paizo, and I'm sorry for that person because I'm, I'm missing your name at this point. But we'll Mike get Harris. that. Mike. Mike. I Harris. believe so. Paizo Mike Harris. A link. Yeah, Mike Harris. Mike, thank you so much for watching us. Thanks to Paizo for uh, giving the shout out. Of course, we've got some new t-shirts on the crew today. Uh, if this is your first time watching, my name is Adam Rady or Marcus the Magnificent. This is Ashley Seal or Lyra, the Hi. kind of okay. There is uh, Craig, the uh, awful. There is Quigley, the even worse. Spied and then Quigley, there's the boldly fall. <laughs> it's played by Ben Birch. And there's Diana Restrepo, who plays Alex, who will stab me if I don't say that she's awesome. Yes. So uh, thank you for watching. We have some new shirts. Well, Quigley's got one over yeah. there. I got a new color. We got sizes and stuff nice. on the Walking in Circles page. Much more things that people have said. Uh, Lucas Martinez, who drew these shirts, oh, yeah. by the way, oh, is the cool. artist Definitely. of these shirts, mentioned, said, Thank summon up a cool glass of water, put a bubble in the mouth of the kids, sit back, and enjoy. <laughs> uh, and you should do that. Uh, catch a bubble. Or Ben Mays said, that or throw the kids in the box. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, because Scott Denuso is home, we can start, so let's start. What are we doing? Yes, Scott. So, um, We're like, eating. as a squire, no. I feel it is my duty. I just go up behind the counter. I find, I, I, should I make right. a perception check for eggs? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you know what? I'll take a full 20. I search around for some eggs okay. and a pan, and I start just making away. <laughs> Make a, roll a d20 for me. Add your intelligence modifier to it. All right. Oh. 12 plus 1, 13. Okay. It's not bad. So you find some flour, 
Uh, you find some left uh, some leftover ham from the previous day. You find a couple rolls. You find some eggs. Um, there doesn't seem to be as many fresh supplies as you would like, but you haven't seen Maisie yet, so she might, she never oh, made Maisie. it in. So you know that 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 uh, yeah, there, there's not as much. But you but you make do with what you have. Jim, and you come up with uh, Earl Cabot was staying at the Mouse and Moth with you his have not children. Seen him. You have not seen him for about a day or so. So him and his kids are dead. I mean, you haven't seen him. I mean, no, that's cool. You have We're no fine confirmation with it. That's of that, right. whether that's true or not. Days. To be clear, very cool with it. Uh, but these guys may have an issue. I have a huge Why issue you with so that. Oh my God. I didn't <laughs> hear that. So I'm just. Uh, but you do the best you can to make a, a kind of a hodgepodge breakfast. And, and, and Craig's like, what's food? taking so long? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Sir Craig! I'll cook faster! And I turn it up to a high heat. You know, I put more. Put more wood onto the fire. And just burn yeah, everything. So you do the you. you do the crag approach. Just apply more power, just more yeah, strength, or, more, absolutely. just yeah. more. Uh, so w within within uh, about a half an hour, you have what you would guess is a serviceable breakfast. Oh. Um, and it is about that time that indeed Maisie herself is, is walking in. As you're pulling out plates of food and, and sitting them out, and she's looking around at the. She seems like really <laughs> distraught. Um, there's a lot of blood and guts everywhere, aren't yeah, there? Yeah, well, I mean, there's, there's, there was an no, attempt to clean up. No, I did tidy boldly both. There was both. some clean up because the, How the guards did take water. an hour but to clean up this is, No, I put water everywhere and things just kind of... There is definitely some um, way out. Uh, unfortunate staining of the wood <laughs> in various places. <laughs> Uh, so and there's it a lot of damage better. to the furniture and stuff. There's so amazing, amazing. how much water damage is there? <laughs> there's no water damage. It's okay. It all came out of the of the end. It's magical. Ow. It's magical. Water. Lord Marcus, press to digitate the area. <laughs> oh, that'd be helpful. No, <laughs> that would be helpful. Um, does Lady Maisie have insurance? Uh, I, I don't know the insurance has been invented yet. <laughs> I don't know why these people came in, but it was a wreck, and I'm so glad that you were not here for But us. she just walked in, and we're, are we just looking at her? I'm just so glad yes, that you're okay. You're eating. I am oh, talking to her. Well, it was, oh, you said hi to her, yeah. Yeah, yeah she got near, accosted in her home. I'm it was a very near so thing. I don't, I don't know if you heard what happened to me, but I can see that you also had a very unfortunate moment. Oh, yes. We I were so worried. a towel boy. Do you need comforting? <laughs> Well, when I when I woke I woke up, there were. What were you wearing? Paint the scene for us. Oh my gosh! Stop it! Oh my gosh! There were strange men in my house. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't they didn't hurt me, but they made it quite clear that I they would if I attempted to leave or huh. signal anybody. And uh, it was very frightening. I, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah. But I can see that things Starting. here devolved even worse. Yes. yes. Well, yes. that was bad. Do you have insurance? I am confident that I can fix most of the damage. Wonderful. They all talk slow in this town. I think <laughs> that if, uh, if, if, I, if I dig into my savings and, and pull some favors from the townsfolk, that we can do the best we can. We tried to do the best you we could. You should also charge the, um, the constable for the door and the window, because I believe they broke both of those. So. Oh. Well, they wouldn't have broken Get some it. Money if you from the two governor. could not trip over the. Oh, I was dead. Never mind. Yes. What? Nothing. Uh, you were asleep. I was sleeping. Were you just gonna make fun of them, but then remembered you died? Yes. <laughs> she didn't okay. die. There she is. She was sleeping. I was knocked out. One particular issue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What is the issue? I'm so sorry. I appreciated your guys' business. No, 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 no. But I under think I see the going. current circumstances, with the way things have devolved here, I I can't afford to let you stay for the rate that we've agreed upon so far. I to stand up, and I go over to her, and I take her hand, and I kiss the top of her hand, and I say, thank you so much for your hospitality, Maisie. We're so sorry to have inconvenienced you. Please let us know if there's anything we can do. We're happy to leave, though. Come on, guys. Let's go get our stuff. You can stay. We just needed to renegotiate the rate. Oh, this sounds you. like a Sir Crag conversation. Yeah, Crag will handle that. We should go get our stuff. Yeah. How much are we talking? Well, I would need to start charge you the, the standard going rate as opposed to the discounted group rate that we've been. So I would, it would end up being about double per week what you're paying. 42 gold pieces for the group of you. 
We have pup tents, guys. 40, 42 <laughs> gold pieces <laughs> just sleep and just for the group. Watch ourselves outside. For all, for all five She's of you to have Kyle mentioned in the chat that Quigley charges boldly forth to the breakfast table, and because Quigley has demonstrated some aptitude for cooking, perhaps maybe uh, Quigley could work for some of those wages? Ooh. Well, I don't need help cooking food. I need money to repair the... To tear up uh, wait, the floors I could, uh, and yoga to prepare the. Huh? How much money do you think it would cost could you to repair a yoga class? I would have to estimate, but probably a couple thousand. The floor oh. probably has to be torn up. There's blood everywhere. Well, we those are the floor. No, uh, I have to replace most of the down. furniture that's been broken or damaged or blood stained. Yeah. Uh, so to be fair, are we sure that this was all our fault? Do you think that the water it's, damage and warping will come out? It's not a matter of your guys' fault. It's just that in order for me to maintain my business, I can't allow you to stay. I've been giving you a good deal because it was kind of exciting having you guys around, but oh, it's now that most excitement definitely is kind our of fault. caught up to me. And now, what about all those times that this inn was quite packed with adventurers Quigley. and people who wanted to hear our stories? Quigley, I, I'm going to have to interrupt you. I'm sorry, Maisie. Quigley, I, I think that Maisie's got a good point. We put her in danger. We put every, we put everyone that we're in contact with in danger. I think it's best if we leave. Oh. Where will we go? Maybe not here anymore. What, the mouse and moth? Well, maybe not even Trapsboro, Craig. Marcus just wants to leave no yeah, matter what. I think do. that when we're around innocent people, while there is unknown enemies seeking us, anyone that we're in contact with is in danger. What he is saying is quite Are you with true. Us? We're all here, yeah. Yeah? Okay, so who's cooking in the back? Oh, Did no, you I leave it on? I brought the food. Oh, okay. yeah. Who's done? I was just making sure you didn't Did he eating, turn the stove off? Talking. It's not a stove. <laughs> you don't just turn fire. it off. <laughs> <laughs> I turned it off. That's Did you turn the fire off? <laughs> <laughs> so I was making sure. Oh. I was just making sure. Lady Lyra, we might need some water. Craig. We have a we ha Yeah, we have a mission. Wait, we have a mission. Yeah, but that doesn't involve endangering the innocent people What's our of Trapsboro. Or we have a quest. What's our quest? What about the temple? Found it, finding out about the Lunai. Yeah. God. What about killing all the red yeah, I'm fuzzy bandits? on the quest. <laughs> what about, about killing that? all the Lunai? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I? Oh, hold on. What I'm saying is, <laughs> Maisie, we'll be out adventuring probably for a few days. We'll be out of her hair. She'll feel safe. It doesn't safe matter. She still, end. but she still wants the money. Okay. Well then. When we come back, we can pay her. We don't have to pay her now. We're leaving. Yeah, Marcus has our a next? good point. Yes, We're do leaving. you accept deferred payments? <laughs> you need a down. I, again, my, you can, I'm really sorry. I, I don't mean I didn't mean to offend anyone, but I'm sure you can see that my needs for we gold totally are going to be quite immediate. After, after this place is all fixed up, and could we go back down to the... Previous well, I think what's fair, Maisie, is if, and I'm sure that Quigley would honor really this, is that Quigley and, Quigley and Craig will have to find a way to compensate you for the damages regardless of whether we stay here or not, because that's the right thing to do, Quigley. That would be the and order. we will probably leave the mouse and moth while still paying you for that, that the damages, because that's the right thing to do, so and we, we don't want to endanger you. If we hunted down the red masked mercenaries... We How would, do we know it is? We would get, <laughs> we would get 1,600 done. gold, and then we could fix the mouse and moth. And how no. many red mask nurseries? No. And how many did we just we fight and not do like well? Six contests. Do you want to fight a hundred? I red agree. I agree with you quickly. Can we just? We what, if, what if we play? What if we play the? Lady Maisie, I accept your terms, and we will pay you the amount of gold that you request. He's in, yeah, he's in charge. You probably have more money than I do. I anyway. have no money. <laughs> <laughs> Say, that, <laughs> Say it louder. So I, I don't have enough money <coughs> to pay for what you're asking. Would you accept it when we come back from our adventuring? When do you intend to come back? Ah, about a week or so. Well. That would I would need payment for this week, and then if you come back in a week, it'll be kind of the middle of next week. So you'll need. Does anybody have both any money? Of... Years forty-two. Oh, Is it thank 42? you. Thank you so I'm much. I'm sorry about your place. I'm sorry that it's come to this, and I I know that your morning wasn't exactly that great either. Well, yeah, that's been better. <laughs> it's, I almost died. Three of us almost. It's died. been better. It was very. 
But yeah, we yeah, totally yeah. understand and we appreciate your hospitality. It's quiet, quickly. We got yeah. ambushed before breakfast. I but do have something to ask, though. I know this is saying, like, asking a lot, but we are about to go on an adventure. So, can we get enough food for a week? Wait, are we, we not have... staying here anymore? We just paid we just paid. for a week. Yeah. Yeah, Why? I thought we were just paid. paying her to be nice for the damages. No. Um, I'm going to stop heading to Sarge's. Wait, it? we're not paying I her for the damages? I did. No, she said she doesn't need to be paid for the damage. I, I, this is not the right thing I, to do, though. No. Like we just had a moment. You and I connected on a moment. No, I want her some eye to eye thing. Gold right now. I feel I her. I do, I, I that way she can pay. Hey, I think someone in this group has some money. Why don't I we? I think. Why don't you wave around your magic her. wand and be like Mary Poppins and clean up the room? Well, <laughs> wands don't do that. First, he doesn't have a wand. <laughs> Secondly, yeah. I'm not the leader of the group. No, you're definitely not. Good point. <laughs> Sound high set out. So on that note, we are going to go to Sarge's. Oh yes, yes. I'd like to go to Sarge's. Maisie, Great. Thank Would you, you like so to come much. with us and buy yeah. some? See you looking. Uh, no, I'm going to go do the intelligent thing and go to Penny's. Yes, I, I think Penny's? that's a good What's idea. Penny's? Oh, so we're going to split up again. Oh, that's yeah, that's great. Oh right, okay. It's just you, shops. Do you know who it was that did this? Oh yeah. We're trying yes. to figure it out. Oh, it and Lady Maisie, there will be retribution. Someday soon we will march to the gates for glory and destroy all these cultists of Lunai just for you, Lady Maisie. Right. Oh. I mean, technically it was us that did it because it's our they, fault because we brought them here. No, they were just they doing what they thought us. was right. They definitely well, had no idea who they, they were. They were they evil. Thought, evil. That must be yes. heard from them. Wait, how are they evil? Hey, hold on. I think she they has They tried to kill us. me. Quickly. Knowing, knowing that you're so so passionate, I I don't know if this would help you at all, but you're one the of lead. them um, in my home uh, after the guards uh, dealt with the the men who had assaulted me in my home. Uh, I, I found this. It was it wasn't. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it would help you, but I know that they they brought it. Uh, if you look under the table, there's a metal Ooh. box. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, ah, yes. I don't know if this helps, or, but one of them had that on them. I don't, I don't know what it's for, but. Well, I like it. Can you show us the camera quickly? It's pretty. It's like copper. Is there anything in the box? No, it's like but the it's thing a is puzzle. Stuck in it's a puzzle. Ooh. I'm not very I like good puzzles. at puzzles. You should probably give it to the most intelligent person then. Oh, don't worry, I'll know. figure it out. Well, this will be a while. All right. Anyway, I roll my eyes and I. Yeah, say, we're going. Thank Brian. You, Maisie, by the way, Brian S. mentioned. Sorry, sorry Diana. Did no, you no, want to read that? No, I wanted you to read that. Oh, Brian S. says Maisie could re reopen the inn as a dinner theater experience. The Breakfast Buffet <laughs> Slaughter starring Crag and Company. Two shows nightly. Oh, nice. That's pretty accurate. But kind of I don't like... want to die every night. Guys, I think that that might be a key. <laughs> Perhaps. I, I will be entertained for well, hours. Uh, Maisie, when you say he left that, you mean he didn't mean to leave that? I'm almost there. Well, I, I found it. It was under under one of my chairs. I assumed that it was left behind. It's not mine. I've never seen it before in my life. And uh, uh, I detect magic. Uh, you detect no magic from it, no. Okay. Seems to be I'm, a mundane item. I'm turning around walking out the door. I'll wait for you outside. Oh, so we're just thank not, you, we're you. not gonna plan again? Okay. Um, I guess we'll Wait, Sam, we're going to Sarge's. We'll ask you for sure. food later? To do what? Here's the thing. To buy things? Remember, you to also, do what? You also bought like tons and tons of rations. We can walk and Where? talk. At can some point, Greg, all oh my goodness, I have so much food. I have so much food. We all do. You do too? We all have lots yeah, of food. Yeah, everybody bought like right. two well, solid meats of food. Supplies yeah. here. But good luck with everything, and we'll see you later. Bye. We each, I think we we each have 14 days yes. rest. Yes. yes, because Mark yeah. wanted 14. Then we have to put in the magic box to be able to carry. Oh, yes. Yeah, because there was a lot of... Hold on, I just want to recap. So this poor woman, who's... In we're staying in. Yes. That we just murdered a bunch of people and they all of their entrails and guts and gore and blood. Some of and are our guts. gallons of her water no, there, it's, are, and some are of my blood. spread across the floor. And then we went, okay, we'll pay you for this week. Bye. And then we yes. just walked out the door after asking her to make us food. 
Oh, no, I, I don't said know that never you mind. actually asked her to make food because Quigley had made breakfast. And oh. I said never mind. I already made breakfast. No, I believe someone... <laughs> well, she wanted food, but then she wanted. remembered that she had. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, you actually want to help somebody? I'm just pointing out what you guys did. Marcus loves to point we never out take responsibility. every now and then what we do. What? Getting a little responsibility? Annoying. Responsibility to do the intelligent things? No, I'm just saying you are a part of this group, and sometimes you decide to blame everybody else but yourself, actually all the time. Because you were all to blame. In fact, I accepted the blame. I said it was our fault that these people were there, Here's and right. she is in danger Here's if we stay there. How did you do? Like, did you help us much this one, this round? Absolutely! Oh, my God. How many people so were there, Lyra? I'm going to I'm going to go to the and Good. I Alex started We're splitting the party forward. again. Yeah. I'm not. I'm gonna wait. What? We're going to Sarge. I'm going. I'm, 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 I'm just shouting after them. You're all completely insane. You have no plan whatsoever. We're I'm shopping. Gonna, I'm going to go to the archives and make a plan. Good. Great. Great. We need you then. So then I'll be the leader when you come back. Good. Why don't you write a book about it? Watch. Put a bubble Quilly, in your mouth. You better be careful. <laughs> Eight, I will. A team, man. A team. Okay. And we're on our way. So, you split up once again. Why can't we stay together? Because, because Marcus Why can't Marcus. we ever stay together? It's Marcus. Um, it's you guys Marcus. are going to Sarge's. Marcus, you're just going to the archives? Is that just your him. actual plan? Well, I'm absolutely going to the archives. Okay. Why not you just yeah. leave? Since there's one of you, and many of them, I'll deal with oh, you first. Uh, <laughs> you head to the archives. Uh, you find Penny is, is there. Every, it's much like you left it before. <laughs> uh, she looks up. She, rec she obviously like recognizes you when you walk in. And, Hi. Hi. Did you find everything you needed? Uh, Penny, we have been finding many things. Uh, I have some questions for you. Uh, I've been able to speak with Mortifor. You have? How did you manage that? Uh, Is he here? Is he in town? Is he coming back? There's some magical means involved. I don't think he plans on coming back. Uh, good question, yeah. though. Uh, I do have the ability to speak with him again if there's anything you need to get from him or ask him about. He does have the documents. From that you were afraid went missing. They oh, are indeed okay, in his possession. I was really worried. So he's been continuing his research. And as part of his research, he had mentioned uh, the tomb of the fifth priest of woe. Okay. And he mentioned that this priest was uh, maybe kicked out of the, the, the club or uh, chose to leave or betrayed woe. But mentioned you would know who this person was and potentially could lead me to some documents or to a, to the direction of how to find the location of the tomb of this fifth... Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it rings a bell. I, I do seem to remember that... that, that Yes, that, that sounds familiar to me. Uh, you say you can talk to Mortifor. Could I talk to Mortifor? Yes. Yes, you can. Because I'm a wizard and can do that. Hwah! And I pull out the crystal ball. And I say, hey, Mortifor. What is it? I have Penny here. Oh, excellent. Penny, say hi. Wait a second. Is hi. Jim Jam going to have a conversation <laughs> with himself? <laughs> That's funny. Jim Jam? And so they, they begin talking back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get... Within within a minute, you get that the gist of the conversation is turning towards a collaborative effort between the two of them, and they and Mortifor keeps. Uh, you get the feeling pretty soon that they're about to ask you to leave the crystal ball here and decide how you want to deal with that. Uh, but as they're talking about uh, various, they they, they Mortifor is uh, uh, trying to reference her to different different. Uh, documents and tomes within the archives and different sections that she would need to reference. Uh, and then finally he he asks you, he says, uh, well, um, I think you should leave me to help Penny so we can gather this information for well, you. But, I, but I, ha I have more things. I have more questions that I need both of you for. So before I leave, because you know what? I'm okay with that, Mortifor. I will yes, leave you here. Yes, yes, ask all your questions. But I have questions that involve you and Penny. And we will research I'm together. That both of you can answer them. Or answer them now if we can. Uh, first off, hi, how you doing? Uh, you spoke to me like 20 minutes ago, and yeah, that's okay. fine. That's cool. It's good talk. <laughs> uh, Craig's hammer. What the hey, man? Why is it on these doors? Why is what is what does this have to do with woe? Indeed. The hammer was a symbol referenced often in the texts. I believe that the holy, uh, the revered weapon 
of those who worshipped Wo was a mole or earthbreaker hammer. Uh, most deities have favored weapons, and so it makes sense. So what, are you telling me that any hammer could open up the door? No, I don't believe so. I believe that there is uh, very likely some specificity to the hammer he wields. Perhaps uh, well, it must be an old weapon, yes? Yeah? Something, something I mean, from many I'm generations past. I'm sure past. one stone breaker to another handed it down and whatever. Yes, it's very likely a very old weapon that somehow made its way into his hands through many generations, if indeed it is activating these doors as you say it is. Would that... Do you think that that is the weapon that Wo favored? Or, or do you think it's the type of weapon amongst many that there were? I believe that um, his worshippers likely would have carried... Uh, I don't know if it's tied to that specific hammer. Though I would guess that if it's not his specific hammer, that all of his warriors and battle priests likely carried very similar weapons. Uh, it, is a, it is a type uh, for certain, though I am, not, I am not sure whether that specific hammer bears any uh, significance. I have not seen the weapon, and I would have to study it in great detail. Oh, I'm sure Craig would be willing to just leave it with you for a few days. I'll, I'll be sure to ask him that one. Uh, what the heck was Trapsboro before? Uh, there was a fairly, uh, it was a mid-sized city what was many it called? centuries ago, uh, the <coughs> name of which I, I, has not been preserved. How many centuries? Like five, ten, twenty? Uh, we're talking at least, uh, seven. Okay. Are there any, are there any gods from then that are still around now? Almost all of the lore from that time is gone. In fact, I was shocked to learn that, as you had mentioned, there were worshippers of Lunai. Uh, most, uh, there are almost no, none of their pantheon survives today. Though obviously, in some state, Lunai must survive if she still has worshippers. Though how much power she carries is, depends on the size of her congregation. Uh, Woe himself... Uh, exists as you know now in in his broken state though if he were to return he would still be severely weakened as he has no recognition on this plane nor acceptance by the other gods so maybe for the viewers at home too whose side are we on in this whole thing because lunai lunai's followers want us <laughs> dead because they think that we'll bring the aspects together <laughs> That will bring Woe back to life and do what? Uh, their intentions in the crusade were to utterly destroy Woe. So, that you, so your existence in ties to the prophecy uh, that would bring Woe together, uh, they cannot, they, they would still seek your destruction today. That is, a, that is no surprise to me at all. Uh, I can say that while you might not be on Woe's side, you are absolutely enemies of Lunai. Uh, how much damage can this smoke monster do that's out there? To release the spirit? Uh, that is something that could vary widely. Um, well, how powerful was Woe? Because I, I thought he was a minor deity. In his time, yeah. <laughs> Yes, but you're speaking of deities. You're talking about the power. Uh, well, sure, even, but but even we're talking about end of, of the world. He can end the world compared to without without with with the power of all the other gods, the current gods. Woe can is this just the power of the prophecy? The prophecy speaks, but you have to remember that the prophecy was bound and written by those who worshipped Woe. So it is likely that there was some uh, exaggeration. Uh, again, these were people who in their time worshipped Wo utterly. So either what? out of terror of him or out of true love. So true they love. may have exaggerated quite a bit. 
that is not to say that there might be aspects of this that we don't know about, and perhaps there is some uh, powerful and ancient magic, because again, we are dealing with magics uh, that are most scholars today are not familiar with. And I myself have not sussed out exactly how the prophecy uh, was made to be bound and sealed to have such uh, lasting power throughout the ages. And there could be some aspect of it that could trigger some sort of cataclysm that we simply are not aware of because we have lost those secrets. So maybe end of the world, maybe just end of the region, maybe not that bad? If, whoa was indeed a merciless and cruel deity, then his return will cause suffering. That you can be certain But well, maybe of. not end of the world. Perhaps but perhaps we're, not Hyper Bowl a little bit there. That could be. Uh, by the way, uh, viewers at home, if you're on Twitch and you're liking this conversation or have questions about this conversation, we can't see your chat in Twitch. You have to go over to facebook.com slash dragons and stuff and chat with us there. If you also want to share this episode live right now to enter be, to be entered to win all of the prizes from Limitless Adventures, Paizo, and later on Sirenscape. So make sure you share this with the hashtag dragons and stuff. Your share has to be a public share because we can't see private ones. Uh, just two more questions, then we'll get to the rest of the gang over here. Uh, what do you think Madnik wanted? What do you think his goal in this was? What's his, what is part, what is his part that he's playing? Madnik, uh, has likely made contact with a group that I made contact with in town uh, some years ago, uh, who had learned of the prophecy well before I did and had a rather complete knowledge of it. Uh, they are convinced that Woe's return will signal a great ending uh, of all things, uh, and they want it to happen. Uh, for whatever reason, they have decided that either this world is uh, too full of madness and suffering and evil and deserves to end, or they're simply themselves totally insane. Uh, but if Madnik was a part of that group, then you can assume that he wanted you to fulfill the prophecy as quickly as you were able to the most destructive ends possible. So, you think that that particular group are not worshippers of woe, they just happen to be people that found the prophecy? Indeed, I don't believe they are uh, uh, a true religion of woe, though some of them... It, it, it is not an organized religion of woe, that I can tell you. There are some among its members who have read the texts, uh, and they do indeed speak of woe in great reverence, but the leader of this group was certainly not a religious man. So no, I don't believe this is a resurgence of, of the religion. It isn't, these are not like Lunai's, like the, the people you told me about who uh, claim to be worshippers of Lunai. I believe that is a remnant of the religion itself. These people are uh, they worship destruction and nothingness. They, many of them were severely pained people. Oh, like Lyra. Nihil nihilists. Mm. So, that is my assessment of them. Yeah. Craig, did you want to read one of those comments? I want to read both of them. Go ahead. They're really funny. So Benjamin S. says, can I, can I say I enjoy the background music? Adds a bit of mystery. Thank yeah, you, Sirenscape. Sirenscape, yeah. 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 And then Mike, Michael A., Twitch has no power here. You have no power yeah. here, Gandalf Stormcrow. Uh, okay, last question. Can uh, can I work with you to scry Madnik? We have some artifacts of his. I can make an attempt, though I don't know the man. It would be difficult. But there is very little that you can do to aid me without being here with me. Well, speaking of that, uh, you are uh, an accomplished wizard of sorts. And uh, would there perhaps be any readings here in the archives that you've left behind or in your own personal place where maybe you could direct me to some more powerful magics that might help us on our quest that I could study? 
there may be ways for me to help you. Go on. If you're willing to put in a bit of work. <sighs> Fine. I'll do work. There were many historical sites uh, that I did not disclose to the governor because he had no love for uh, preserving them. Uh, and he often sought to exploit any sites that we did tell him about. So there are a few places that I know of uh, where there may be some uh, magic that you could recover to help you. I would be very interested in knowing about those locations. Are they here, with, here within Trapsboro? Not within the town itself, but in the surrounding area. Within several, within a few, anywhere from a few days to a week's worth of travel. <laughs> You're not even there. Uh, you're not there. 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 Give us me. I'm Give, not there. It it's okay. Take it back from me. You're going to have it back in a second. I just wanted to it's see the, the thing. Oh, you're you're not not here. Here. I'm looking at it now. No, you I don't have see the Okay, I looked at it. You're all in cheeking. It's over. I looked at it. She's not with me. There's a cheater here. That was amazing. That was. Pretty, uh, pretty real medicine. Adam wanted to see what it looked <laughs> like. Oh, yes, of course. That's what's when words. Jim, when Jim uh, talks about, like, God, the players he's talking with about. Your words. Uh, how can I get that list or locations or map or thing from you? Give me some time to, uh, gather my notes and I will, I will get back to you shortly. It will not take too long. Great. Uh, okay. But our most immediate concern is, of course, this tomb, this lost tomb. So if you will uh, leave me with Penelope and I will Ooh. assist her as we do our research and later today I'm sure we can suss out a location where the likely, where likely we'll find this place. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, Madnik. Uh, no, you're not Madnik. Whatever your name is, whoever you are. Uh, more to four. Uh, no, I'm the worst, I'm so bad with names. I think the best suggestion, best idea here would be to go to the tomb, but my companions are idiots, morons, imbeciles, simpletons, and I just, I don't know that I'll be able to convince them, but I'll do my best. Well, don't, do you think that if you had a, a clear path and location that you could immediately go to, you might better convince them? Uh, I don't know that there's convincing them of anything that has any amount of intelligence or anything well, all, I, all I can do is provide the information to you. And what you choose to do with it uh, will be. What if we didn't do anything, Mortifor? Oh, well, there are many theories on that. Uh, the prophecy, I can say at this point, I would count it as real and bound by powerful magic. One might say that doing nothing uh, would indeed be part of the prophecy, and you will find yourself enraptured in it uh, regardless. Uh, there are others that would argue that your particular wills could overcome such, such fate and magic, and in fact you could break it by simply refusing, uh, or by dying, uh, or by leaving this plane. Uh, but there is no definitive answer yet on the fate versus free will, uh, especially when it comes to magical intervention. Uh, so who knows, it could be an interesting experiment if you simply chose to stop and do nothing. That would be quite interesting to see. I'm all for it. All right, cool, thanks. I'll even go to uh, Cadwell's. I'll let you deal with them. Okay. You guys get two Sarges without too much trouble. <laughs> okay? All four of you, you walk in, you see Sarge is there. He is surly, and he gives you a nod as you enter, and that's it. Oh, well, hello, Sarge. I require a rope net sack. I get you a net. Right? Sarge? I mean, yeah. That's right. you want a hunting net? You want a fishing net? No, I want something you need it that to I be... can cinch up and then put on my shoulders. Well, I don't have that. I have a net, and you can perhaps fashion something. Wait, you're, you're saying you don't have a rope sack net? I'm saying I have I have a net. If you want the net, I can give you a net. And, uh, right. <laughs> you can fashion whatever you want out of it. All right. Wonderful. Do you have leather straps as well? If you want scraps, you probably get a better deal from Ash, but I can get you, yeah. How, how much for the net? Twelve gold pieces. 
All right, I'll take it. And uh, I take the net and net? I go to Ash. Wow. Okay, so quickly gets his net and leaves. Who's what about the rest of you? What are you guys doing? I'm still in there. Okay. I'm just looking around for um, stuff. I'm trying to figure this out because I think it's a key. Yeah. Can yeah. I have a set of those, please? Sure. How much is that? Is that all you're going to be wanting today? No. Well, Do you have let's a grappling get it all right hook? together. Huh? Grappling hook? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I have one grappling hook? Okay. Let me see. Trops. Cow trops, excuse me. Do you have a crowbar? Yeah. <laughs> crowbar. And I have a shopping list. And flint and steel. Chocolate. Okay. I have chocolate. I chocolate. No whispering. I didn't whisper at all. You're not there. I'm here. No, I was talking quickly. Just sometimes he left. I am You're here. the conscience of the 15 Alex gold pieces shoulder. and you can have it all. I hand you well. 15. Okay. If Thank you're you. whispering, no one can hear you. You have a the the couch of it's a, basically just a, it's almost like a like small other pouch of and you can feel like there's definitely the metal inside. Uh, you open it and there are these sharp little pointy bits of metal you scatter on the ground as you're running away from somebody and it would hurt to step on them, a lot. Um, you have a grappling hook that you can attach to the end of your rope to better help you catch on things to climb, uh, and you have. The what was the last thing that you wanted? Uh, grappling hook and crowbar. Crowbar, yes. Yeah. Actually, so you got a crowbar. Yeah. Can I have two sacks of uh, cow traps? One more gold. All right. So how much is how many gold is that? Maybe a total of sixteen. Okay. Then I hand I hand Sarge sixteen gold. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. I think I'm good. Solid quality iron shackles. <laughs> how much? How much <laughs> You uh, lost your first pair? <laughs> no, I always want two. Kyle Perkinton has mentioned that that is one prepared rogue. That's my friend. Yes, I did my research. Oh, research. So yeah. Diana knew to get that, but Alex didn't. She cheated. So I see. Like she you cheated. did earlier. Yeah. Once again, Marcus likes to point out the <laughs> obvious. No, that was Adam. Adam pointed that one out. 17 gold. <laughs> Thank you. Shut up. Ask her for it. Let me have Hold my on. fun. <laughs> How come? Silver conversion to gold. Ten. Ten, okay, no. Ten oh, for a gold piece. Ten for a gold piece? Mm -hmm. Oh. So it would be 150 silver. This rogue is getting prepared for this Damn. adventure. I'm going to stick with one. Oh, maybe I should I'm going to stick things. with one solid quality. You just quality never know. Ask him for, for a poor quality shackles. No, I'm not taking poor quality. Uh, anything for you? Lyra, do you need anything? I left. You left. Oh, yeah, you left. Okay. Uh, you're fine? Yeah. Great. So I... Are we going to Cadwell? I give a nod and walk out. I'm going to follow you Thank guys you, with this thing. All right, you all leave. You are Thank going you. to... Cadwell. See Ash. Okay, you head over and see Ash. There Ash is. It's just, she always hammering away at something on the, on the I, I old run up, anvil. I say, well, hello, Lady Ash. Um, instead of fashioning that box into a backpack, I was wondering if you could take this net and fashion it up in a sort of way that it might hold the box. Had you spoken to, or had you left the box with Ash? No. I wasn't clear about that. No. Okay. okay. Um, I guess, yeah. Perfect. Uh, how much would that be? Let's call it 10 gold. And how quickly could I get it done? How quickly? Three hours. Perfect. That sounds wonderful, Lady Ash. Hand you the net, hand you the ten gold, and I run off to Catwell. Okay. Uh, you guys had left. Sarge's, are you do going anywhere specific after that? Cadwell's, Cadwell's please. Okay. Everybody meets back up at Cadwell's oh, conveniently I love how enough. Smile comes up. Uh, Marcus. <laughs> so much. I love to be Cadwell's. 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 Henrik, who's clearly been drinking and has no idea what he's talking about, says, Lyra, you are the best. You are such a kind soul. Love you. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Just wait until you find out she can only cast one spell per round, and you will see another side to Lyra. Yes. Hashtag no longer. The darkness. Hashtag <laughs> passive aggressive Lyra. I hashtag, 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 hashtag turtle shame. I do get upset. Hashtag, hashtag turtle shame. That's a thing. Hashtag it's, turtle it's shame. It's valid. It is true. It's valid. It's sure. Valid. 
So you guys all meet up at uh, as Cadwell's. Marcus. You're you're getting you're you're just about to open the door to Cadwell's, and you look down the street and you see Quigley marching <laughs> right towards you with a beaming smile on his face. A team. <laughs> Great. Oh. Uh, I go in. And, 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 work. Thank you for and soon after, uh, Craig, Alex, Lyra, all appear. Uh, all of them marching directly for you. Uh, you all meet Why? back up. You enter Cadwell's. Uh, he is delighted to see you. Welcome, friends. Hi. I see that once again you are alive. Uh, once again, no doubt, thanks to my wonderful uh, enhancements to your vitality, your strength, your will to live. How can I help you become a better you today? Cadwell, do you sell Entanglefoot? Or is that a slime ah, thing? Are you talking about Tanglefoot bags? Yes. Oh, sorry. indeed. Uh, I can make those. They're quite easy and useful for one such as yourself, I am aware of. Uh, tell me, how many of those do you want, do you need? Let's... Uh, 10, 20? Oh. <coughs> You uh, never want to run out. Ten. Ten. What's the price of ten? Ten? Oh, that would be 500 gold. Uh, 500? Uh, an excellent investment. Uh, uh, uh. That's wait. Okay, fine. He baited she you. She said it. That's a deal. No, I did not say fine. I do not. No. How about <laughs> two? What would you give me as a price of two? Well, if you only wanted, if you only figured you would ever need to entangle two of your foes, uh, you could. That would only cost you 100 gold. Told you. Is that including our 10% off for life? Ooh. Cadwell's? It actually includes quite a hefty discount. I am selling this almost at Give, cost You're giving them away. You're almost. I mean, giving, really, giving I, I figure you are such uh, uh, loyal uh, customers, and I love dealing with you very so very much. Oh, we're That's so indeed. happy to I am, see I am you. practically giving these away. So what do you say? Two of them? 100 gold only? All right. Entangle your foes so that you can slip away unnoticed? Yes. Or perhaps so you can get a better angle on them? I like that answer. Yes, two Tanglefoot bags. Okay, throw these at your enemy's feet and they will find themselves mired in a sticky mass of goo from which they can barely escape. Um, oh, do you can? sell smoke sticks? Indeed, I can get you get you smoke sticks. Uh, how many can I put you down for? 10, 20. How many is for three? Three would be 75 gold pieces. Yeah, now that's of course if you only you. wanted the standard. Oh, she purchasing all of this. Less powerful yeah. smoke sticks. I think, I think they, it's become They simply odd. create uh, a, a bit of smoke, but if you really wanted something that would uh, uh, put the hurt on your foes and make them think twice about chasing you, you could go with the uh, pepper smoke. Well, how much is the pepper smoke? Uh, well, you, indeed, steal... the alchemical ingredients she stole are all the gold from uh, she a bit stole more gold. expensive. I did not. I did one one second, Cadwell. She stole our one gold. second. I did not sneal, steal anyone's gold. <laughs> you are a thief, though, are you not? So you're a thief. While well, they're talking. I and did you not have... steal your gold. Quickly, did you check her bag for I our stuff? Have... <gasps> Does she right, have your 10 foot pole? I do not have your 10 foot pole. How are you buying all this? I believe yes. Do you have a magic fang potion? Magic Fang, indeed. That is Quickly. a spell that many uh, that? druids it's, and rangers find a, very useful for enhancing the natural uh, weapons of their these, animal uh, companions. Has a, uh, indeed, uh, uh, it may it assist you if you intend to uh, fight with your... if your body is a weapon, as it seems to be, yes. Yes. Um, so, how much is that? 65 gold pieces, and I can get you that. It will your your very limbs will become magical weapons, awesome. capable of damaging even the most insidious of beasts. Uh, Great. 65? Sure. 65 gold pieces, and it's yours. Everyone has Here you gold, go. but crap. Excellent. This will last you for five I minutes you upon drinking it. Uh, you will hit. Yesterday. You will hit harder. You, you will hit you faster. So you will be fault. able to damage creatures me. impervious huh. to uh, mundane uh, forms of attack. Craig, do you need Thank you. Back? I you would oh. so like that. The the effect is it gives you a plus one enhancement bonus to your attack and damage, and for the duration of the spell, your fists are treated as magical weapons, so you can hit incorporeal creatures or creatures that are immune to uh, regular physical attacks. Sweet. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, you're awesome. 
Chadwell. I'm not Tiny Chadwell. What, what could I buy for 16 gold pieces? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. But I would like, um... Something along the lines of cure light wounds, but I know that's far too, uh, I, I don't have enough gold for it, but if you had a cure very light wounds, I might be interested cure. in purchasing <laughs> Cure scratches. You know what? I like your spirits. I, I, I like you as a group. I, oh. I find your custom to be quite refreshing. Uh, I could give you. He pulls up a, a vial of, of swirling multicolored liquid. Oh. He sets it on the table. He says, well, Yes, I could give before you... he even says anything, <laughs> I just throw all my gold pieces at him. Yes! Indeed, you will find this highly effective potion what is it? will greatly enhance your ability. <laughs> Excellent deal. Uh, you you won't be disappointed with this potion. What is What's it? What's ability? What is it? Don't tell me! Don't tell me! I want to wait until I take it. Um, how much were those smoke sticks, Kevin? Oh, no. If I were to. Purchase... Are you talking about the mundane ones or the more uh, powerful, the ones that pack a punch? Mundane ones. Well, okay, that a mere twenty-five gold pieces. For one. Indeed. All right, I shall buy one. Okay. He hands you, uh, it's actually not a stick, there's this, this pellet. Uh, it's very small, but he says, you simply throw this at your feet, and a great cloud of smoke will hide you from your enemies. Uh, excellent for dramatic entrances and exits, oh, and like or that. slipping them out of, of danger unseen. Do you sell a potion called, called Dark Vision? Indeed, if seeing in the dark is something that you find uh, you need to do. Money? Because she stole our gold. I stole no one's gold. So, I can't Remember, you your gold remember. got stolen in the middle of the night. Like Mine it. did not, except for my tangle foot back in the day. Yes, but you were the one asleep while that happened. Yeah, well, that, he only know... stole my tangle foot bag. Wah, wah, wah. Crazy I'm saying there's no wow. gold. I can buy you something yeah, if you uh, want. Well, you're going to be paying Maisie to keep us afloat here, because I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. It's fine. But do you want Where something? Alex is the captain now. Do you want something? Hey, look at her. Look at her. If She's you the captain need, now. If you find that, uh, if you find that you are in the darkness and you need to see uh, with perfect clarity, uh, no color, black and white only, uh, I can get you a potion for a mere three hundred and thirty-five gold pieces. Uh, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> but, but but if you have a, a, a different solution, don't worry, Cadwell has you covered. Uh, perhaps you need light in a dark place rather than simply being able to see through darkness itself. Mm. Why not uh, cast the darkness away with my ever-burning torch? Oh yes, I he agree pulls with out that a, because it looks she... like a torch, but it has like a like a hood, like a sack over the top of it, and he whips it away. Uh, and oh. underneath this burlap sack, and you, a, a flame springs up. Uh, he says, this, Lyra? fear not. He passes his, his hand over the flame. This is no uh, ordinary Lyra, flame. Uh, it will not burn no, no. anything that it touches, but it will last stolen. forever. Yeah, last forever, how much is it though? 110 gold pieces, and you could Ooh. have a torch that you can rely on underwater in any circumstances for the rest of yours Actually, yeah, and your children's great. lives. Underwater, Kevin? Does it ever turn off? No, no it you does not. Put your hood on. You have to put that hood on. It is eternal and permanent, to the best that? of my knowledge. How did you do that? How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Make Magic! A, uh, do you have knowledge arcana at all? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. Someone in the group does. It's religion. Yeah, Wait, but we know Marcus doesn't care that? about helping. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jim, Jam, you said uh, smoke sticks was 25 gold, yes? Yes. The one that, okay. Okay. <laughs> Stephen F. says, today's special buy, one ever-burning tour to get an empty potion bottle for free. No, no, he's not giving away those. I already have three empty potion bottles. Um, well, I... I really like this torch idea, but I only have, I, think, I don't have enough. 
I, I think have the torch idea barely. is a good idea. I think you should get it. I wasted all my gold. But who knows what this mystery potion does? Do you have a potion? Can I identify that potion? No. He's not gonna like it. He doesn't want to I mean, go with this. If, if, he, if he let you study it, you can no. try it. No, no, no. Do you have a potion to speak tongues, different tongues? Oh, indeed, if you find yourself in need. Just curious. So Let's worst. see. Let me check my inventory. Well, I'd like to buy Cure Light Wounds, but I have nothing. I can buy you a Cure Light Wounds, and I not ask you. Why don't you? you buy the Everlasting Torch for her? Get an Everlasting Gobstop. I barely have too. enough, so I don't really want to spend all of my gold. No, I, I don't mean to offend you. And I hope you won't take this. Uh, but the, the ability to confer with any creature living uh, of this plane or not of this plane is a rather powerful ability, and the potion would be quite pricey. All oh, right, maybe perhaps I'll wait. Two thousand gold. Don't have that. Um, could you please give my friend Craig a cure light? No, wound? don't, don't. I don't need any pity cure light wounds. I'm not a charity case. Oh, I think it. you'll find in the heat of That's battle that uh, you would be glad to have it. Cadwell's cure for the light wound is indeed a staple. Yes, please get that. And I, I am I sure that you can attest to, to its to power effect, and effectiveness. I can't always reach Based you. on I your own. Some. Did you get it to do this? Was, in, was that how it came to you? With the, in the two We're trying to figure slits? out the puzzle. No. Well, I got it in the I two don't. slits, <laughs> but it doesn't. I think. Okay, is, are we I'm just? Trying, everyone's okay. going to play with this thing? I think I know. No, I'm not. This is, not this is we're, ridiculous. We're at Cadwell's. Just take the potion. She's <laughs> offering you a free potion. If you don't don't do it, it, Craig. It's a trick. You She's using your mind. money. Fine. Fine. She's using your money to buy it. I would gladly <laughs> take a cure light wound. <laughs> How much today? Eighty gold. Eighty gold. All right. I hand and you Cadwell's cure for the light wound. Can be yours. Doesn't he make light? Just don't. Well, he makes he does, light, but he makes it for one thing. I have thing. torches. You, do. you have torches. I have an alchemist. They burn out. Jesus, am I your pimp? <laughs> Alex. Uh, Alex is the new pimp. <laughs> yes, Alex um, is the new pimp. Alright, take a turn. Oh, Lord Marcus, not. did you find any information about where we're going? We'll think next about the light the another tomb. time. Yeah, well, we definitely. On... That sounds amazing. So hold off on the light thing. All depends on if. Well, it'll going be here to forever. <laughs> I still would like to know how you did that. That sounds good. Through the power of card study, uh, card arcane study? science. Card study? Card study? Through the card power. Study. Hard hard study. Hard study. Hard. Arcane excellence. Uh, alchemical genius. Turtles, card. And a bit of luck. Is Simon still here with a stupid giant pig? Simon's not here this morning, but he has been indeed still working with me quite uh, diligently. He's doing quite well. Are you done buying things, Diana? Alex? Yes. Oh, yes. Craig, Quigley, Lyra? Oh, uh, wait. Done? No, wait. We're not done yet. Charles says you're already not welcome at the inn. Smash Cadwell, steal all his gold, throw all his inventory in the magic box, and leave town. Charles. Wow. No, that would not That's pretty good. That's a good plan, Charles. Charles. That's pretty good. That's a good plan. I'm going to need another plan. I dig it. Uh, so can I buy some things? Hi, Charles. You may. I would, uh, I would be delighted if you would oh, buy some wait. things. Friend Marcus, Marcus has money? Tell me. Marcus, did you well, How can I help you become a value today? You have in the, the middle of the night? To I know you hear me. You're ignoring me right building, now. Uh, Whatever. Fireproof. You have a, the ability to coat a material in fire resistant or fireproof. How properties. much material do you need? I don't want that. I want waterproof. Waterproofing is uh, in, in, quite easy, yes. Okay. Can you waterproof a bag for my spellbook? Absolutely. Okay, how much? 43 gold pieces. And no water That's okay. will ever again reach the delicate uh, materials that you carry with you for your delicate but powerful arcane magics. What about a giant box? <laughs> uh, yes, indeed, I could that? waterproof a box as well. How much would a big old box say about <laughs> yay wide, yay tall? <laughs> well, cost? it would require a bit, a bit more of my uh, patented waterproof proofing agent, so All right. All right. 86 gold. And would you have to get in the box to do no, so? That won't do it. 
Do you want the inside waterproofed? No, I want to water to not be able to get in the box. That also requires the construction to be secure. You understand? I can waterproof the wood, but if the if there are gaps in the wood or if there are that that then the construction of the box must be sturdy enough. No, no, no opening of the box. We're fine. You're carrying the box. I'm carrying the box. But what if it drops in a river or drops into? I know, but you have it right now. Right. So forty-three gold. Forty-three gold and no water will touch anything in that bag again. I need some spell components. That I'm of course. You can help Anything me out specific with. that you're looking for? See, Marcus sure. has gold. Well, I, so, I need to make a scroll of mage armor. Oh, do you just need uh, the the inks, arcane? Yes, I, I can get you uh, some things. I I myself have to use them to jot down many of my formulae, and I, I have extra that I would be willing to to sell to you for a fair price. What's fair? Ah, I can get you enough if you were just looking to make one scroll, 25 gold pieces. How about two scrolls and you go to 40? And I buy, and I buy the waterproofing of the bag, making a total of 83 gold. Well, 90 is a nice even number. Yeah, 85 is also a nice even number. Again, <laughs> you guys, uh, I do like you. I do like you. Let's go with 85. Yes, 85 gold. Oh, okay. Marcus has He gives you animals. that. He goes uh, in the back and comes back. To, just within within seconds, he comes back holding several vials of ink. Uh, uh, you already have the, the quills necessary. Uh, enough uh, of the reagents to create two first-level scrolls. Great. Does he make my bag waterproof? Or my spellbook waterproof? You want the spell book itself waterproofed? Sure. That's fine. Okay. I mean, yeah. yeah that's. Uh, I can do that. It will take some time for the agent to set. You'll want it to dry properly. If you left it here, came back in the morning, I think that would be sufficient time. That was my sphincter tightening up. Wow. So Jim, Jim writes, the gold, the gold was not stolen. It was liberated from someone who was not using it. Did you write this, Jim? I, is this you, that's Jim? Not, that's not me, Jim. That's not you, Jim? That's a different Jim. That's a different Jim. But it's a good right. point that the, the gold is simply... We were uh, using it to live. It's simply redistributed <laughs> to other persons in yeah, the physical plane. Other plane. little persons. <laughs> what? Or person. About if I sleep here tonight. Uh, so uh, highly it's unusual it's Yes, but I don't request. want my spell book out of my sight. You can understand, person of my profession, it'd be like, you know, your reagents. It makes being sense. Out of your it possession. makes sense. Um, take the book with you, but do not allow it to become wet before the agent sets. Deal. Would you be comfortable leaving the bag here? You could take it with you, but you would have to just make sure you don't touch it very much. It would be kind of awkward to carry around. Ah. Well, that's up to you. I can leave the bag here. Yeah. Okay. Is it going to rain today? Is it rain uh, in the forecast? To the best of your knowledge, it's not going to. Okay, great. <laughs> it's going to rain. Okay. Ooh, the only way water's coming out of the sky is if Lyra gets her way. Oh. Jim, let me see your bottle. Yes. The spray. So, Fancy. Lord Marcus, did you learn anything? Yeah, it's got like a little leather Penelope? strap about so I can like wear it. Yeah, to the it's actually not mine. Spoken about? It's my fiance's, but, we but she's not here right now, so it's mine now. <laughs> All right. Quickly, I have particular information as to where we could go next, but it requires something from you. What? I have to be the A-team leader. <gasps> I'm afraid you're not making good decisions. It hurt my feelings that you wouldn't pay Maisie for the damages and agree to keep her safe by leaving the inn. If it gets us on a correct course, A-team leader. Yes. A-team leader. So I changed his, his thing to just say 18. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, the magical runes inscribed on your chest. Uh, some of them disappear, and now it just says 18. It still makes me a little sad, but I also like that it says 18. <laughs> You're still part of the team, just oh, not yes. the leader. <laughs> okay. Team, 
Uh, so, is there anything else I can get you, crafty, savvy oh, adventurers? Did you give me the information that I just Any other ways for? that I could help you improve your odds against your foes? Yeah, we should talk. Not today. No, we're good. He's Thank you, Kamal. We'll be back. Too. I want to hear. Well, right. I look forward to you coming again, and, uh... Thank you so much. Happy travels. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye Cadwell. Goodbye. Tell Simon we say hello. I will do that. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the most recent, most current Dragons and Stuff news, head over to Facebook.com slash Dragons and Stuff. Not only will you get the most recent, most current news, but you can watch us live at 6 p.m. Friday night, uh, Pacific Standard Time. We will be there playing, so come join us. See you there.